God will be voting. Yes, we'll be voting. Activists on both sides of the political divide have taken to the streets in North Carolina. Democrats are out to re-elect Senator Kay Hagan. November 4th is around the corner. While Republicans campaign on behalf of her challenger, Tom Tillis. I'm okay with that. Among those supporting Hagan is Melissa Reed of Planned Parenthood. This is probably the most important Senate race in the country. The control of the Senate is really going to come down to three seats, and North Carolina is at the very top. Reed opposes Republican efforts to limit abortion. Women think that their policies are out of touch and that they are stuck in the past, and that's why we're dressed in 1950s garments today. Anti-abortion protesters do their best to compete, trying to whip up support for Tillis. Tammy Fitzgerald says a strong turnout by social conservatives could swing the election to Republican Tillis. A majority of people in the state are pro-life, about 55 percent, and especially among the conservative voters in the state, that's a, a larger number, about 70 percent. The Senate race here in North Carolina is one of a handful of races around the country that will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate next year. And if Republicans can take control away from the Democrats, it could have a huge impact on the final two years of Barack Obama's presidency. Good evening, everybody. We finished the second debate. Republican candidate Tillis is doing all he can to tie Hagan to President Obama and his low public approval rating. I'm determined to make it clear that people know that Senator Hagan has voted with President Obama 96 percent of the time. Hagan, like many Democrats around the country, wants to run on her own record. Because he wants to make this election about the president. The president is not on the ballot. This race is about who's going to represent North Carolina in the U.S. Senate. Local analyst John Davis says the president is playing a role in the North Carolina race, whether he wants to or not. And right now his numbers are lousy. His job approval is in the uh, low 40s overall. It's in the mid-30s on foreign policy. So this is a great time to, uh, if you're a Republican, to tie uh, your opponent to the president. Lousy numbers, it matters a lot in a midterm election year. Libertarian candidate Sean Haw could be a factor in a close race. Entering into the race just with my own agenda. Haw fits in strategy sessions with supporters between pizza deliveries. I personally wanted to walk into the voting booth in November and be able to vote for something other than more war and more debt. Republicans have a lot riding on the North Carolina race, says free market advocate Mitch Kokai. Most people think that if they're going to do it, North Carolina is probably one that they're going to have to win because Hagan would be one of the, the easier targets. The campaign is intensifying in the final days with both sides well aware of the national political stakes in the race. Jim Malone, VOA News, Raleigh, North Carolina.